Gemini. Gemini, welcome. We're going to do a general read for you. And we're going to currently, we're going to look at your current energy first. Uh, apologize for being late on this. Just yesterday I was so exhausted after work. Um, <clears throat> and my hands could hardly move. So, oh. that's an interesting card to find. Ten of Cups. Hmm. Surprise, surprise. Let's see what's going on in your current energy besides the Ten of Cups. Commitment. Well, that's kind of tens of cupish. So commitment shows up for you. What I get from this is you're looking at something and you're looking at it as the differences make this situation unique. So let's have a look. Knight of Cups, Emperor, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Okay, so as I'm looking at this, it feels very much like you may have approached somebody or somebody approached you um, in a sort of dating way, I guess you could call it. And although it might have been worth it, we see the Three of Swords show up. And this feels to me like somebody came in and somebody got turned down. Somebody made an effort to, you know, charge in with a message of love and somebody got shot down. Is there just too big of a difference between you? But your desire shows up as finding. Why is finding here? Knight of Pentacles, Fool, Sun, Ace of Swords. Well, if this is finding, this could be finding yourself, finding purpose, finding any number of things that, and I'm drawn to the butterflies up here, that help you move on through this life. It's like if you could get a break from this sort of Nine of Wands energy, this just tired energy if you could just get a break just something to give you you know that step up we see that that is something that would really be helpful and we see success coming around for that for you where this very well could just be a bit of a test to see what you're made of and find that will or purpose within you <clears throat> the outcome though is beauty and so why is beauty here for gemini why is beauty here as the outcome maybe you're trying to find your inner beauty what makes you feel beautiful could be struggling to see the beauty in life around you queen of swords energy it's like there's so much up in your head about everything, about possibly somebody from the past and the stableness that was there. And this almost brings to so the current energy is maybe you miss that person so much you don't see anybody else's matching up as with the Emperor and the Queen of Pentacles. So struggling to find that beauty, maybe you're struggling to let go and you know that you've got to cut this off. Uh, but there's something beautiful in it that you just can't let go of, and it stresses you out. What's working for you? Three of Wands. Looking to the future for the Ten of Pentacles, Six of Wands, and Knight of Wands. You might be planning a future, and there's success in doing this with the Ten of Pentacles, but are you planning it with somebody that's a bit of a flake? Somebody that's in and out. Um, what I see with this is maybe you're planning a future just for yourself. And you're just doing what needs to be done. Well, 
What you need to be aware of, though, is the Ten of Wands, the Chariot, the Eight of Swords, and the Four of Swords. So it's like, you got to know that things are heavy with you. You're close to your um, where you need to be. But you're just not sure whether you want to sort of kick it into high gear and let it and go for it. You're wondering if the timing and that type of thing is wrong or if it's going to cost you too much energy. I have cards flipping out on the floor for you as I go through this. And we see that, you know, there's this worry that, you know, maybe things just aren't over yet. Last three cards, Magician, Your Energy, Ace of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. There's something coming for you. Dun, dun, dun. Um, no, there's something coming for you that will allow you to really sort of sink your teeth into it and really get into the uh, work of it. And this is could be something that you've kind of brought around. So there are new beginnings. Freedom and prosperity travel i see this is sort of a double confirmation of the new beginnings with the ace of wands showing up there's this freedom that the knight of wands knows and of course so another double confirmation we see this travel and prosperity we've seen the queen of pentacles the eight of pentacles in here so this just kind of reaffirms what's going on for you with new beginnings coming in that that sort of change how you feel like the commitment card it was kind of like two birds tied together and so when we look at this freedom it's like are you is it too scary to actually do uh, is it too scary to go on your own but at the same time we see prosperity show up and prosperity is a super thing is it could be prosperity in every aspect uh, or any aspect. And so I look at that and go, that's really cool because it looks like you've had a slog through things. But that's what I have for you, Gemini. Best of luck this week. Feel free to give this a thumbs up or thumbs down. Remember to subscribe because I don't always post on the same day due to work or travel. Thanks. We'll talk to you soon.